Welcome back to another edition of Honest Reviews. This time we're going to be looking at the 60mm wheel from Revolver. For those of you who don't know, Revolver was announced by Jake Healy earlier in the year. Now Jake is obviously the owner of Loco Skates and he's the man responsible for Go Project Wheels and many people were wondering if Revolver was going to replace Go Project Wheels but what it's actually doing is going to work side by side. So Go Project Wheels are available internationally in various different shops and Revolver Wheels are only going to be available in Loco Skates. Now, the idea behind the brand is to create a premium level urethane or wheel and sell it for a budget price. The way they've managed to do that is by cutting out many steps in the manufacturing and distribution process to make it as cheap as possible. So they basically buy it direct from the factory and then just sell it in their shop. There's no distribution costs, there's no cuts between other retailers. So the idea is that you're still getting the same level of quality that you would get from a pro wheel or a high-end brands wheel, but you're paying a fraction of the price. So when these were first introduced, I affectionately like to call them Jake's budget blanks, which I pitched the idea to Jake and he said he preferred revolver. So apparently they're gonna stick revolver for the time being, but you know, these things can change. The most interesting thing I thought about these was when they were introduced, the price of them was quite surprising. So most wheels that you get from Undercover or Eulogy or any of the other high-end brands tend to be around the £35 market. Some of them even go up to £40 for aggressive wheels. Now I absolutely tear through wheels. I'll chunk them, I'll decor them, I'll cone the hell out of them really quick. So the idea of paying £40 for something that's going to last maybe not even a month is a little bit frustrating. With these, the price for a set of four 60mm revolver wheels was only £21.95. Now that's almost £15 cheaper than their competitors. So if their wheels do what they say, then great, win-win. I got a set of the wheels when they were first released, but I didn't actually have a chance to use them because I was still working through a set that were currently on my skates and I just wanted to kind of ruin those first. Most of the reviews I was seeing online about the revolver wheels were really positive, but there was one where someone showed an image of the wheel being completely ripped off the core. It rips in different places and that was slightly off-putting, but that does happen with pretty much any wheel. Like you're gonna get defects and Knowing how good a businessman Jake is, he was instantly in touch with the person and I can't remember whether he offered him a refund or replaced the wheels, but I know in the past whenever he's had issues with Go Project wheels, I remember the clear cores, there was a few issues with those decoring, he was always refunding the customer or replacing them, so he's one of the more reputable companies in rollerblading because you know that if there is an issue with the product, he will do something to sort it out, whereas other brands have gained reputations for kind of ignoring customers in that respect. I'm not naming names. The first thing I noticed when I got them was that some of the wheels, the core was slightly off center in the urethane. Now it was only by like a millimeter or so and you couldn't actually tell when you were looking at it. You can only tell when you ran your finger over the surface. So it would be protruding a little bit in one side and it'd be sunken in a little on the other. Again, I spoke to Jake about that. He said there's just variation in all wheels and they're manufactured and I went through my box of old wheels that I have and ones that have bigger cores, some of them do tend to be a little bit off center. However, I didn't actually notice any issues with that whatsoever. So I've been skating these wheels for, I'm gonna say two months now, maybe even longer than two months, and I've put these wheels through hell.
sick, dude. I've skated them on cobbled streets. I've done cess slides on street. I've skated absolutely horrible rough skate parks, which Scotland has plenty of. And just last week, I spent an entire session at an indoor skate park just doing slides on the wooden ramps. So I'd slide to a stop, I'd slide at a grinds. I'd just, yeah, I must have done a hundred slides the other night. These wheels have held up really well. Now, you'll be able to see here, if you look a little bit closely, it's actually got a kind of, not a coning, but it's like, it's basically made a shape in the side of the wheel there, you can see from all the slides, and it's done the same there, which is the result of a 14 stone guy doing a lot of Royale slides, or they're not set of slides because you're not sliding on any part of the skate. Other than that, after two months of skating street and outdoor park and indoor park, you can see that they have held up pretty well. Apart from the slide lines there, there's not really that much coning on them. I mean, yeah, this is the foot that I push off with the most, so it's got a little bit more there, but I've found that they have actually held up really, really well. Now, bear in mind they're only £21.95. Their competitors are between 30 and 35, some are even up to 40 pounds. If you're gonna spend 21 pounds 95 on a set of wheels, see if they last just like two months, three months, then you're getting your money's worth. These wheels are currently sold out, but according to the local skates website, they will be available sometime this month. So it's quite handy that this review is coming out now. I was really happy with my purchase. I would definitely get another set again. Some people said that they found them a little bit too hard. I didn't really notice that, but I guess you would be more aware of that if you skated a lot of wooden parks. And the first few sessions that I had on these were street and outdoor concrete parks. So by the time I got to the wooden indoor park at unit 23, I'd already wore in the wheels pretty well and they'd got the gloss off them, which I would imagine might attribute some of the sliding out people were finding. I didn't find them particularly hard, like rolling around on rough surfaces and going over cracks and cobbles and just terrible pavements in Scotland. They felt absolutely fine. And yeah, found the energy transfer on them great. They rolled really fast. I've not noticed any of the cores, just checking to make sure. Yeah, all the cores are still intact. Quite a few wheels I've tried recently over the past two years, within the first month or two, especially if there's a change in temperature, the cores will just get really loose and you'll be able to like shake the wheel inside the frame, even if it's tight. With these, not having that issue whatsoever. So in summary, you can't really go wrong for a set of wheels for under 22 pounds. Normally, if you'd pay that for a set of wheels, full price, they're probably gonna be terrible. With these, yep. I'd highly recommend them. And now that we've got the wheel review out of the way, you can watch some footage of me eating shit.